Welcome to a new Draw My Life video. Today we have a very gloomy story. Many of you may know the movie Orphan, released in 2009, where a couple adopts Esther, an eight-year-old girl, apparently angelic, but who hides a terrible secret. After several macabre scenes, we discover Esther is actually 33 years old. She's a woman with a strange disease and many mental disorders. It sounds like science fiction, right? How would you react if I told you the movie is based on a true story? The story of Barbara Skrilova might seem old to you, something that happened a long time ago. But not really. Her horrifying story dates back to 2007. Barbara was born in the Czech Republic, and same as Esther, the protagonist of the movie. She suffered from hypopituitarism, a weird disease that affects the hypothesis, the gland that segregates hormones to the rest of the body. This strange disease can have different effects depending on the hormone affected. In Barbara's case, it made her look like a little girl. We don't know a lot about her childhood or about her parents, except that she was a very problematic girl, up to the point that, when she was a teenager, she was hospitalized in a mental hospital due to her strong psychopathic attitude. Despite this behavior, those who knew her say she had a prodigious ingenuity. Barbara realized she could use her disease in her favor. She decided she could pretend to be an innocent little girl and so manipulate people as she pleased and commit little crimes, knowing that since she was just a girl, the authorities wouldn't chase her. Since she left the mental hospital, everybody lost sight of her, until she found a victim with whom she went too far. Clara Morova was also born in the Czech Republic and had known Barbara when she was studying pedagogy in the university. The fake infant introduced herself as an abused child, who had escaped from a center for minors and didn't have anywhere to go. Clara talked to her for days until she decided to adopt her, without following any legal procedure. So, she took her to her house in the village of Korim, in the outskirts of Parna, the second biggest city in the country. She had recently divorced her husband and was living with her sister Katerina and her two children, eight and ten years old. Both sisters had suffered schizophrenic episodes with visions of Joan of Arc. For a long time, they both thought they had been chosen to accomplish big and important missions on Earth, which probably made it easier for Barbara's intentions. However, Clara had always taken good care of her children, and she put lots of effort in having a normal life, or at least that's what they say. But with the Skrlova's arrival to their home, everything changed. She started to feel jealous of the children and would blame on them any disaster that happened in the house, most of them caused by her. But things didn't end there. The little psychopath encouraged his sisters to join a religious sect she belonged to, the Grail Movement. This sect was led by a being known as the Doctor, who communicated with his believers through text messages. This strange religious group promoted cannibalism, promiscuity and incest. From this point on, the story becomes a complete nightmare for Clara's little kids. The fake girl suggested to lock them inside cages and the sisters decided to do so. The kids were caged, totally naked, in the basement. They were tortured by the three women 24 hours a day. They lived on their own waist and at the edge of our starvation. But things kept getting worse. Barbara was obsessed with Hansel and Gretel's tail. So, she convinced the two sisters to fatten the kids so they could later on take pieces of their flesh that would be eaten up by them and the rest of the members in the sect. Skrlova was obsessed with watching the kids when the sisters weren't around, so she decided to buy a baby monitor and set it up in the basement. What she could not predict was that some neighbors that had recently had a baby would buy the same monitor to watch their little one. When they connected it, it wasn't their baby in their nice crib that they saw, but the horrible image of the Maroba sister basement. And there were the two kids, locked, laying down over their own excrements. When they saw this, they immediately called the police, but when they came to the house, they not only found the two kids. The picture of the tortured siblings was completed with a third child, crying for help in a corner. Yep, you've got it right. That girl was Barbara Skolova, but the police didn't know that. The fake girl managed to escape from the authorities before they suspected her. She crossed the border, it is said, with the help of the sect. 
Barbara traveled to Norway, she gained weight, got a haircut, and pretended to be a 14-year-old boy. She found a family who took her in again, but this time it was her weird attitude that gave her away. Adam seemed to be a very bright kid, however, he would always refuse to participate in any kind of team sport. Also, he claimed he had run away from home because he didn't want to be a witness in a trial. These weird circumstances made teachers doubt and they started looking into more information about his case. Again, Barbara ran away, but luckily the Czech police had already sent an arrest warrant against her and her picture was everywhere. Eventually, she was arrested in the north of Norway and repatriated to her country, where she was finally tried and condemned to only five years of prison. But why? Because she was only the intellectual author of the crime. In 2011, Barbara Skolova left prison before she served all her sentence, due to good behavior. Right now, nobody knows where this woman is. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!